I've been busy. The spot welding took a day and a half, I think, thereabouts. This has taken me all day to wire this up. Um, there's all the connectors on the underside as well, I think, somewhere. I hope. Can't remember now. Uh, so the, oh, I don't even know what's that. Series. There's connectors under there. Two series. And the series there, which is another connector, is that a parallel? That's a parallel. There are some places that I can't put enough connectors on because it's physically impossible. But there's neoprene between everyone just to completely protect them. This is going to be a bit of a challenge trying to get it on because it goes where? Where does that go? It's going to be a, a massive, a massive challenge to get that on. Is it there? Is it? Yeah, that goes there. Right, so what I've got to do with this one, uh, these are actually parallel wires. So it takes it from the negative to the negative, and then I've got the positive to the positive. This is six gauge wire which will be absolutely plenty, it's a very short run anyway that's got to be connected to the underside of this but then it's got to go up against this which has also got these connectors so they're sticking out so I think I'm going to have to put extra padding ow! sorry my leg, ow you mother! I've got sciatica really bad in my leg ow oh, that hurt so I may have to put some extra padding on here to bring it out. Yeah, because I don't like that being very close to that bit there. It's not very good. I've actually got... Ah, you f If you look at this here. I've got... And you can't really see it. This is... Is this the top? Yeah, this is the top. I've got plenty of room for that to actually go on there. So I can actually put... Yeah, probably about another, what's that, 10 mil? Another 10 mil of padding in between, just to make sure that, that don't bloody touch that. Yeah, that's got to go on there like that. I've already done one of them, which is there, which worked fine actually. Yeah, that, that worked out fine because it actually comes out to here, which there's nothing covering it. So that one's fine, it's just that one. So... Ow! Ow! Oh God, I ain't getting old. Stop getting old. Don't get. I don't want to get old. Don't get old, because things start breaking and not bloody working properly. I'll be pissing myself next. And I've run out of neoprene. That was the other thing. That's why I've stopped. So I've got to get some more neoprene so I can get this one finished. Finally! Well, after being stuck in bed for two days because I've slipped a disc or I've done something, I'm really struggling to stand up because it's really bloody painful. I've got sciatica right down. It don't matter anyway. I've managed to do the one. This is going to be the left side of the battery. This is the front. This is the back. And I've actually made it smaller than I need to be. I know it don't look it here, but there is gap there and there's gap there. I haven't done anything with the positive side of the wire because I don't know what to do with it yet. The negative is done, that's going to be the series connector and I know it's an XT150 but it'll be fine, trust me, <laughs> he says. Oh dear, these are all the balance leads. Um, I put all this together, covered it all with Captain Tape and forgot to put the temperature sensors in so... I've got no temperature sensors, but I think what I'll do is I'll just jab them in the back somewhere. Hang on, whoa, me leg. That one's done. I'm going to start on the other side now. Uh, I wish I could say, thank God that's done. I don't want to do it again, but I've got to. <laughs> the only thing is I've got to reverse everything because the positive... It's now got to be at the front, so as I can series the wire over. It's not going to be very easy, but hey ho. So there you go. I'm going to start on the other one now. Oh, I'm really struggling. 
My back is agony. Anyway, this is what I've done with the new, the new build. You see that? What I've done is obviously I've cut these to size, and then I've got some pliers like that, and they just got it and bended it round a bit and bent it round a bit and bent it round a bit and then you just put a lip in it there now the reason why I've done that is I was a bit concerned because I've got to put all the parallel and series connections um, I was concerned that it's actually bridging see that's the positive and the negative is the outer ring here so I was a bit concerned that when I'm soldering it's going to touch because of all the heat well, that will prevent it from touching. In theory. <laughs> so, I'm alright sitting down. It's just when I stand up, I think I've broken my back in eight places. My God, it's painful. Finally finished. This is the right-hand side, is it? It's the opposite to the other one that I did, which is the left-hand side. So it's the right hand side. Literally, that is all the nickel I've got left. <laughs> it was, oh, so close. Uh, all this is double layered. And, yeah, it's not very easy to do. The Arduino spot welder they've got, Melectrix or whatever it's, I don't know. But anyway, um... It's still working, but the tips, I think I've only got about three millimetres left on them. After all that, I've sharpened them and sharpened them, obviously. So the only thing I've got to do with this now... It, ah, you mother... I've got this stuff, which is 50... Is it 50 mil? Neoprene. 10 metres. Doesn't say. Anyway... It's exactly the right size, look at that. Absolutely fantastic, couldn't have chosen anything better. I think that was eight quid. So I'm going to be using that. Link in the description. As I do with everything, every single part that I've done, used, bought, the batteries, the cells, the, the everything is in the description. So go and f read it and stop asking f questions of what do you get this from? Where's this from? Where's that from? I'm going to wire this up tomorrow. I ain't doing it today. Can't be arsed now. Um, and then that's the battery done. This is actually holding me up from doing ev everything. Uh, I've got to get the layout of where the battery's going before I actually do any other part. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, I need to take up singing. Hopefully there's not too much glare off this piece of our aluminium. <laughs> this is the battery mounting plate. Hopefully there's not too much glare off this thing. Anyway, this is the right hand battery. There's the front, there's the back. Uh, the pedal clearance is fine. It's not gonna it's not gonna catch at all. It fits perfectly. There's a line up here which you can't see, which is actually the to where the battery goes to the top. So what I'm going to do is this PC, it's going to be bent over 90 degrees that way. And then at the bottom, it's going to be cut on this bottom line here. These lines are only for my reference, don't ask. I ain't going to tell you. <laughs> so this is going to be cut here, which I'm going to do with a Stanley knife. Ah, my leg. I think I'm going to 3D print a casing for it somehow something and tap holes in it so as I can screw it to it and it'll give it some rigidity rigidity uh, I'm gonna have locators on the down tube somewhere so as this will actually slot in I think anyway now the other thing as well I was thinking about the sabaton mounting now that's gonna have to go on the underside of the down tube which is round about it'll be around about here where is it so this is the sabaton uh, which way is it going? That way. And it's going to sit round about, I reckon, round about there, like that. Now, 
I was thinking of 3D printing a, a complete surround for it to make it waterproof as I possibly can, but it ain't going to work. So, these boxes that I bought, oh, look at that. I can get all loads of electronics and everything in there and that because it's going to be on aluminium it's going to act as a heat sink so I think or is it going to be mounted the other way up yeah it's going to be mounted that way up like that so that will screw onto there like that it could do with being a bit thicker I mean this isn't the, the most rigid but I reckon that will work and then I've got all my wiring down the bottom and I can seal the box. This is going to work. This is really going to work. It's all starting to come together. I had this problem with my other one. I sat there for hours and hours and hours trying to figure things out and I just couldn't get it right. And then suddenly, bang, everything started coming together. And it's happening exactly the same this time. So I think that's probably going to go down the bottom there and that'll sit actually it'll be a bit yeah be a bit there about there is it there or there there so that'll sit about there this will be secured to the down tube per firmly secured um, that's going to be bolted to that so that I'll add rigidity to this so that'll be fine I don't know how I'm going to secure it to the down tube yet. My leg. Oh god, I can only stand up. I can stand up for about 30 seconds and I have to sit down and now I can sit down for five minutes and I have to lie down. So that's going on there. Um, battery wires, I can then seal this and put all those and all my phase wires and everything else. What else? I don't know what to do now actually. I could start working on the torque arms. <laughs> 